Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I got home from work and I was going to record my makeup collection and then I realized I forgot to declutter my lip gloss and lipsticks and all the fun lip products that I have. So today we are going to go and finally declutter my lip collection. So that is the lipsticks, lip glosses, liquid lipsticks, and lip liners. Now, <laughs> I started this declutter series, I want to say in like December, and then I got sidetracked and this is the last bit of my collection that I need to go through. Now, the thing with lipsticks and liquid products like that, it's not something that I can pass on to my friends unless it was something that's never been opened and a lot of the products that I have are already open. So I'm going to go through them. A lot of them are going to be thrown away. We'll see what I keep in my collection. I know that there's some in there that I'm just kind of like, mm, I reach for them, but then they're not the color I want to use. So it doesn't make sense to hold on to those products. Now, if you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications of new videos. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate it. But if you want to see what products I have in my collection and which ones are going to make it into the trash bin, just keep watching. Okay, you guys. So starting out, we're going to do lip liners. And I feel like this is a good starting point because it lets me know like the base color of what my lip is going to be for that day. So we're going to start out, let me break these down a little bit and then we'll get started with them. Okay, so I guess we're going to start with the reds. I don't have as many and then I have some other ones that are like pinks and universal shades and then we'll get into my nudes. So with these, I didn't really break them down as far as like ColourPop or Kylie. My biggest thing with these is the family colors. So these are all reds, some are more burgundy than true red. So I figure we'll start here. This is the lip contour from Huda Beauty in Heartbreaker. This one I just had with a liquid lipstick and it's a really pretty red. So this is kind of like, okay, this is the red that I want to use and I'm going to keep this one and whatever else I have, I'm going to compare to that shade. So this one is a ColourPop lippy pencil. This is in the shade Grunge Girl. And this is more, oh, that's like a purpley red. So I want to keep this one just because I do sometimes use darker shades. I was definitely that grunge girl in high school. This one from, from Bodyography, this is in Rosewood. This one's a little bit drier and also a little bit more cool toned than the ColourPop one. This feels really dry though, like it drags weird. This one I'm going to get rid of. This is Rudolph from ColourPop. I actually just used this one and it is so smooth and creamy. This one I'm going to keep. It is a little bit darker than the True Red that I had from Huda. This one from Lorac. This is Pin Up. And I do like this one that it's one of those like mechanical wind ups. But at the same time, if I was a makeup artist, I wouldn't want to use this one. This one is like a true, true red, whereas the other one had like a pinky undertone. So I will probably keep this one as well because it is very creamy as well. This color icon from Wet n Wild, actually I think I've had this for a while. <laughs> we'll swatch it, I'm pretty sure I'm getting rid of it. Yeah, it is really dry. I've had this for a minute. It is a pretty color though. The Ace Beauty in So Gorgeous. Ooh. That is really nice and creamy too. I can't keep them all. I could. And that's the thing is they all have different hues. So I am going to keep this one as well. This one from Evio Beauty in Brook. This one's a little more dry. I do like the creamy ones because they glide on easier and I have a hard enough time trying to get my lip line. So this one I'm going to get rid of just because it's a little more dry. The Color Riche from L'Oreal. This is in the shade Red. Ooh, this feels dried out too. I'm going to get rid of that one. The Juvia's Place Luxe Liner in Scorpio. Ooh, this looks a little bit darker. Ooh, yeah, see, I like that. And it's actually probably in the same line as this one, but I do like the Juvia's Place Liner, so I'm going to keep that one. So the Aaliyah Lip Pencil in Follow Your Heart. Ooh, yet yeah, see, it's got that, like, white... <laughs> I need to get rid of it, but that's what it looks like 
This is when you know that you need to get rid of your lip liners. It looks like it's fuzzy. <laughs> From Realer, this is Be Yourself, Be Realer. Ooh, that red is really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one too. This one I've never opened. This is a Saint Lux in Crush. Because it hasn't been opened, I will actually give this to one of my friends. I have so many red <laughs> lip pencils that I don't wanna open another one right now. The Smart Fusion Lip Pencil from Kiko Milano. This is in shade 515. Just, it looks like the package is on here. I know that I've used this one. <laughs> you can see like where the red has smudged down. Ooh, that one's really dry too. That one drags weird. So I'm gonna throw this one away as well. I do know that I've also had this for a minute because I went to London in 2017, 18. So it's been a minute. The Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. This is a really pretty shade. And it's just that like dark red. So I'm gonna keep this one. Whether you like him or not, he has good products, that I will say. The one from NYX Professional, this one's in the shade Brick House. Ooh, that one's kind of tight on there. Ooh, it's nice and creamy. I do like that shade. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. The Lip Crayon from Illa Masqua. I don't see a shade. Oh, it's in Lust. This one's a little dry, so I'm gonna pass this one on too. This one from Kylie, this is in Mary Jo K. I do like the little mini ones that she has. One, this is super creamy. Two, I like this because I can chuck it in my purse and it doesn't take up a lot of room. So I am gonna keep this one. It is a really nice red. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil, this is in the shade Hot Cakes. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, I guess I'm getting rid of it because it's <laughs> No longer in there. Well, too bad for that one. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Boarding Pass. Oh, that's a brown. Ooh, yeah, that's not my like favorite shade. I am going to pass this one on as well. And then the ColourPop Lippy Pencil in CD. Ooh, see, that's more like a Merlot, like burgundy shade. I'm gonna keep this one as well. Okay, next we have some of my darker shades, pinks, purples, and then some of the universal shades. The Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Lip Pencil. It The white is just blocking it out, but this is a universal shade. I need to sharpen it. This one I'm gonna keep. I do like it because I noticed some of my lipsticks don't bleed when I use this and it doesn't have a color, so there's really no, like, I made a mistake. It's in the shade Ozone. So the Sephora Universal Lip Liner, this one is also nice. It helps with feathering out and keeping your lipstick where it's supposed to be without having to worry about an actual color when you line your lips, which sometimes I'm not so great at. Now, I have these darker, like, pinky purple shades. This is the ColourPop and Barbie Malibu Sunset. That is a pretty shade. I don't know that I'm gonna wear this a lot, but I do have the matching lipstick, so I will keep this and decide when I have the lipstick. The Illa Masqua Media. I think I got rid of the last one because it was kind of dry. This one, it's pretty. It's kind of like a melon shade, but it is also very dry like that red one, so I'm gonna get rid of it as well. The Kiko Milano 529. This one I know I've used. Yeah, it's also dried out like the other one. It is a pretty shade. I do like the mauve purple, but it is also dry. The Kevin Aquan Flesh Tone Lip Pencil in Blood Roses. Okay, so this is a really pretty shade. I'm gonna keep this one. It's kind of like one of the purpley reds that I kept earlier, which I guess I could have done all the bright colors together. The Tartist Lip Pencil in Mood Ring. <laughs> These are so like micro fine. Oh, this is super dry. Oh yeah, it just broke off. All right, well, there goes the trash. This one from MAC in the shade Vino. I love this shade. It's so old though. I need to like, I just need to part ways with it. It is a really pretty shade. I might go repurchase. I haven't been wearing these types of shades so lately, but when it turns white like that, it's just let it be, let it go. And then this one from Thrive Cosmetics in the shade Valicia. I don't know that I'll actually gravitate towards that and I just kept this shade, or that one. I kept one of them, I kept this one. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this go. Okay, you guys, and then we have the nude pinks and browns and then there are some darker browns in here because they weren't really reds, but it is what it is. 
So <laughs> let's get through this. This one is the ColourPop Lip Pencil in Minuteman. It's an interesting shade. It's not a shade that I gravitate towards. It's more on like the orangey side. I'm going to pass this one in. The Kylie Lip Liner in Candy K. Oh, I've used this a lot. <laughs> This one I'm gonna keep, obviously I like it. I do need to like <laughs> sharpen it, <laughs> it's so bad. Then the Bodyography in Pouty. I've, see, I just got rid of one of these because it was too dry. That one's really dry. It's a pretty shade, it's just too dry and I know I probably have this shade in something else. The Barbie and ColourPop in Golden Beach. See, I also need to sharpen this one. I really liked this shade when I used it. See, I'm really bad at sharpening my pencils. The ones that I use at least. This is the Sienna Shimmer from Jouer. This is actually a metallic liner. See, and I don't know how I feel about like metallic, metallic lip pencils. I'm gonna keep it for now and see. I haven't been gravitating towards a lot of metallic shades. Okay, and then the Evia Beauty in the shade Val. This is a shade that I gravitate towards. I used it. Ooh, that one feels really nice and creamy. And it's a pretty shade. I do need to sharpen it though. <laughs> so bad. Good and Plenty from ColourPop. Ooh, yeah, see, that's a really pretty shade. Kylie Candy K lip liner in... Oh, do I have two of the Candy K lip liners? Let's see. Yeah, it's just... <laughs> I'm gonna keep both of them because I do go through these really quickly. Okay, this one, absolutely not getting rid of. This is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. You guys see the ones that I use a lot. They're not sharpened because I sharpen them as I use them. That shade is stunning. And I have the little trial size of the lipstick. The Rudolph Lip Liner from ColourPop. This is in the shade Clarisse. Also a really pretty light brown, like it's a tan shade, not brown. And that's weird because like I don't gravitate towards the brown shades. I gravitate towards more like tans and pinky nudes. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Avi. Oh wow, I really sharpened that weird. Oh, it's just falling out, that's why. Interesting brown pinky shade. Has like a weird pink undertone. But I'm gonna keep that one. This is the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Muted Pink. I just use this one in a video and then put lip gloss over it. It's the wet and wild one that I did. This is one of my favorite shades. Oh, it looks just like that one. <laughs> if you can tell the color story that I go to, this is it. And I like that it's a retractable. I don't have to worry about sharpening it like all my other lip pencils, because obviously I don't sharpen them. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Over the Liner. That one's a little bit darker. I'm gonna keep it for now because it is a little bit darker. It seems to be more on the pinky side than like the brown. The Kylie lip liner in About Last Night. Oh, you guys, this one just came out for Valentine's Day. So creamy, so nice. Love that color. Keeping it. The Barbie and ColourPop in Dream House. This is more of like the purpley pinky shade. So I'm gonna keep that one. You're gonna notice that I'm gonna keep a lot of the nude shades. This one from Karl Lagerfeld in Model Co. That's not really my shade, so I'm gonna pass this one on. The L'Oreal Color Riche in Lasting Plum. This one's probably dried out yet. Yeah, see, it's starting to get that white shade, like film. I'm going to throw this one away. It is old. Kylie Jenner in Kiss Me Sailor. Okay, yeah, see, that one I will not keep. That is not a brown shade that I gravitate towards. It's just, no. Kylie Jenner Coco K Lip Liner. This one's really pretty. I really like the peachy shade. I don't gravitate towards peach a lot, so this is really the only peach lip liner that I have. This one from NYX in Nude Suede Shoes. I'm gonna keep this one. This is the second one that I purchased of it, and I know that I like this shade. This is a repeat of one that I already had. The Jeffree Star Lip Liner in Leo. I wanna say this is the second one that I have. Ah, oh, see, and it's not like my favorite brown shade either. I might actually pass this one on. It feels nice and creamy. 
actually, is it right here? No, I have this one right here. I used it a lot at one point, but it's not really something that I gravitate towards now. So this is the Kylie Lip Liner in Autumn. Let's see. Ooh, that is a really pretty shade too. I'm gonna keep that one. I have so many nude lip liners, you guys. It's crazy. The Dolce Diva Waterproof Lip Liner. This one's from Kiko Milano in shade 02. Ooh, it's so creamy. I'm gonna keep that one as well. Okay, this one from St. Lux is in the shade Cupid. It's kind of that melon shade. It's also not open, so I'm gonna pass this on to a friend. This one from Real Her, it's in I Love Myself. Oh, that's a pretty nude. I'm gonna keep this one as well. The Coco K in Handbag Ho. <laughs> Some of the names, you guys. Okay, see, that's also a shade that I don't gravitate towards. I'm going to throw this one away as well. The shade Calabasas from Jeffree Star. Obviously, I use this one a lot. It's a really pretty pinky shade when I do actually wear pink. The Dose of Colors lip liner in Delight. Oh, it's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This one from Steve Laurent. This one is also not open. I'm gonna pass this on to a friend. The Kylie Jenner Lip Liner in Angel. Also one of my favorite shades. I'm gonna keep that as well. The Kiko Milano Smart Fusion Lip Pencil in 533. This one, it's a pretty shade. It's not a shade I gravitate towards. It's also dried out because it is old. So I'm gonna throw this one away. The Persona Lip Liner in 90210. I just got this one. Ooh, it's so creamy and smooth, but I don't go for those brown shades. It does have what looks like a reddish hue to it. I'm gonna keep it just in case you never know when you need a brown lip liner. This is why I've been giving away the ones that I get in my subscription boxes, because I know I have some in my collection that are already open, but I just don't gravitate towards them. This one from MAC in Fresh Clay. The MAC Lip Pencil in In Control, this one. I love this one. I just, this is a new like repurchase. You guys look at it, it's mingled from being sharpened so much. I love that shade. This one from Kylie in Coconut. I wanna say this is like a brown shade that I'm not like super into, yeah. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. ColourPop Lippy Pencil in the shade So Happy. Running out of room. Ooh, see that's not my shade. I've kept some similar to this, it's just, I'm gonna make this one go away too. The Realer in I Am Confident. Uh, not really a shade that I like gravitate towards. It feels nice though. The ColourPop Lippy Pencil in Starship. Where to put this one, you guys? Oh, that is really pink. Um, I am going to pass that on. The Kylie Lip Liner in Dolce K. Ooh, see, it's a tan shade that I like. <laughs> Do you see a trend here, you guys? <laughs> I am gonna pass this one on as well. And then this one from Dominique. A creamy fill and define lip liner in Crush. Let's see, where can we put this one? Ooh, that feels really nice. I'll keep it, it's kind of like a peachy pink shade. And then this one from Juvia's Place in the shade Brownie. Probably should have kept this one in the reds, but yeah. Um, it's just not a shade that I gravitate towards. I am going to pass this one on. Okay, you guys, now we're on to lip glosses. This I just pulled out of the drawer. I mean, you can't see how deep this bin is, but it's about the, as deep as my hand. <laughs> All right. There's some in here that I absolutely love. I know there's some that are expired and probably need to be thrown away because of how they smell, but we're gonna get through this. Now, the first ones I can start with, this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm. I already have this one in Diamond Milk. This is just a replacement of it, so I am going to keep this one right off the bat. I know there's some more gloss bombs in here. And then this one from Hannah Lay. This is a lip treatment. This one I should probably actually keep in my backpack, especially <laughs> during the winter. This one just smells minty. 
um, and it is a clear shade. So I am going to keep it in its box for right now because I do have one that I am carrying around in my backpack. And then this one is the Agave Intensive Lip Mask. This is a replacement. It's still in the box. I'm going to keep this one as well just because it's one that I purchased as like a replacement for one that one runs out. All right, so right here I have the Bally Balm in Sweet Orange and Coconut. I just got the Bally Balm Lip Scrub in Pineapple. Oh my goodness, you guys. And this one smells amazing. I really like this one. I keep it just in the beginning of my drawer. When I show you guys my collection, I'll show you the drawer that I have in my lip gloss drawer. That's kind of like my go-to let me grab right away when I'm like prepping for videos. This is in there. Okay, so this is the Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Pickup. It's just a really pretty like metallic shade. And I really like this on the lips. It has like a mint scent to it and it feels amazing. So I am gonna keep that one. Okay, you guys, this shade, Two More Life from Kylie. This one is just like that nude pinky shade that I really like. It's opaque, it doesn't have a scent to it, so I am gonna keep this one as well. The Hip Dot and Clueless Lip Oil, this felt amazing on the lips. And it has a little slight color, it's just kind of like that pinky mauve shade. So that one I'm gonna keep as well. This one from Dose of Colors in Happy Hour still smells amazing. It's got like that buttercream vanilla scent and it's just kind of like a peachy shade. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. This one's perfect for like springtime. This one from Dominique Cosmetics in Lemonade. This one smells amazing and it's just that really pretty like peachy shade, but it goes on the lips pretty clear, which is nice. So keeping this one as well. This one was one of my like go-tos getting ready for work. I would always like grab this one. The ColourPop Lip Cream in Calming Circle. You guys, these were, so this one, like the stopper doesn't actually work and they come out all messy and gross. And I just don't have time to like play around with it and worry about like making a mess when I'm trying to put my lipstick on. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. And it has a really, Thick, like makeup scent so this one is gone this lip gloss from Mac and Rihanna <laughs> this one is so old you guys it is a pretty shade um, but it is way old the, the cap is so sticky from like getting old <laughs> the hourglass unreal in the shade provoke I really like this one it's just kind of like that opaque nude shade oh, you guys I love these so much and so pretty Put this over a lip liner, mm, beautiful. The Kylie Nightmare on Elm Street, this is a lip lacquer. And you guys, I don't know how I feel about the lip lacquers, just because when I'm talking about a dark shade like this in like lip gloss, lip lacquer like form, it's just gonna end up all over my lips. They will feather out on me, so I'm not a fan. This one I'm going to pass on. Another one of the Hip Dot and Clueless lip oils, this one has more of like a cherry red shade. And most of the time I wear my lip, oil, lip oils at home just to kind of rejuvenate. I don't wear them out too much. So this one I will keep just, you see it right there where it's starting to like catch into the hairs. I don't wear these out and about, but I do wear them at home to moisturize my lips. The Morphe X Jeffree Star Lip Gloss. This one is in the shade Berry Blast. It's just a really pretty, like, clear shade. It kind of has like a cool tone undertone with it, and it has a lot of glitter. Really pretty over a lipstick or by itself, so I'm gonna keep this one as well. Morphe Lip Gloss in Hypnotized. You guys, this has some of the prettiest glitters in it. Look how shiny that is, you guys. This one will stay as well. This one from Kika Milano. This is the 3D Hydra Lip Gloss in the shade 10. These have some of the prettiest glitters and so shiny. Oh, you guys. How stunning is that? The Michaela and Glam Light. This one doesn't really have a shade, but it is kind of like a gold hue. Oh, stunning. Look at that. It's so stunning. It's gonna transcend whatever color you put it on top of or just by itself. The Glam Light Cocktail Collection, this is in the shade Vodka. It's just a really pretty icy sparkly shade. Where is that? Look how beautiful that is. Does it even show up? It's just so glittery. I'm gonna keep that one as well. These were really pretty. 
I love the collection that they had for this one. The Disney Villains, this one is in My Pet. You, <laughs> you guys, do you see how like shiny that is? Oh, it's and it's got like a blue tone to it. I am gonna keep this one as well. Another one of the ColourPop lip creams from the Hocus Pocus collection. This one is Hello Boys. Let's see, is this one? This stopper actually works, but I don't know how I feel about <laughs> black lip cream. Like, ah, I bought it. I thought I'd do something with it. I didn't, so I'm gonna throw this one away. The Ultra Glossy from Disney Designer. This one is in Bobbity. It's a really pretty shade, kind of like a peachy. It does have the scent of like broken down because usually these smell like buttercream or vanilla and this one is broken down, so I'm gonna pass this to the trash. The ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in Truth Bomb. This, I must have put it on top of like something pink. It's okay. It smells like it's broken down, so I'm going to throw this one away as well. Another ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil, this one is in First Date. This is a really pretty peachy shade. This one I am going to keep. The Glam Light Cocktail Collection, this is the shade Whiskey. You guys, this is stunning. It's opaque. I put this on top of a lip liner and I don't have any problems with it like bleeding or feathering. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. Look at the packaging, guys. It is actually really cool. Irish Cream from the Glam Light Cocktail Collection. This one's a really pretty like nude shade. So keeping that one. The Tartus Lip Paint in Remix. It's pretty, it's just not, I, I've, I haven't reached for it. It's just an interesting topper. The MAC Lip Gloss in Identity. This one, like, I can tell that it's starting to break down in the tube. It's a really pretty shade. It, the only problem with, like, MAC, they're super sticky. And I just, I don't gravitate towards their lip glosses anymore. This one I'm going to pass. The MAC Ariana Grande Viva Glam. Pretty shade, like a little baby pink, but I know that it is no longer good. The Sigma and Cinderella lip gloss, oh you guys, this is stunning. It is just so shiny and pretty, oh yes. The Juvia's Place Bronze Rose, this is stunning you guys. I actually really like this on top of a lip liner. It has the biggest doe foot applicator though. Is so opaque and juicy on the lips so I'm gonna keep that one one of the Fenty gloss bombs this is so juicy in this shade oh, you guys in the summer mmm stunning I love these ones I keep them on my uh, table behind me tart lip glosses in cuddle this one was like a holiday collection really pretty just sparkly pink shade goes on clear these ones I'm gonna keep. This one, like, it still smells good. Any of the other ones I'm just gonna keep that are like this. The Rudolph Red Nose and ColourPop collab. This is a Luxe Lip Gloss in the shade Misfit Elephant. I love this one, you guys. These Lux Luxe Lip Glosses smell like Fruity Pebbles to me. I absolutely love these. Any of them that come up that, like, I like the color of, I'm gonna keep. So this one I'm keeping, as well as this one in Dolly. Also nice and clear shade, just more on like the red berries. So I don't know if you can really see it. Lip gloss isn't the greatest to swatch, you guys. <laughs> this one from Marc Jacobs in the shade Sugar Sugar. I love this one. It's just really opaque nude shade. I love this on top of like a pinky shade, super pretty. This one from Morphe in Sunnies. This one, I'm not so sure about. I think it's more of like, yeah, see, it's like a bronzy gold shade. This one right here. I'm gonna get rid of this one. The Nightmare on Elm Street, Only a Dream. I really like this one. It's just kind of like a opaque nude shade. So I'm going to keep this one. Another ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in Smirk. It's just like that really pretty peachy pink shade. So this one I like more. I'll actually wear it out in town because it's a little bit thicker. But if it's a no makeup kind of day, this is what I'm wearing on my lips, especially because I like having something a little more hydrating and moisturizing on the lips. 
the lip cream from ColourPop in Tinkerbell. This one has a really pretty like opaque pinky shade. So I'm gonna keep that one. Another one of the Fenty Gloss Bombs. I'm gonna keep this one. This is in the shade Fussy. Love this. Another lip cream from the Hocus Pocus collection. This one is in Tonight We Fly. It's just a purple shade. Not gonna keep it. It's just, when am I gonna wear that? <laughs> Halloween only comes around once a year, so I'm going to throw this one away. This lip gloss from ColourPop and Bretman Rock. This is in Kumquat. It's just kind of like an icy blue, but it goes on clear. It really didn't show up, and the fact that I'm super pale is blinding. So I'm gonna keep this one. I do like the ColourPop lip glosses. Okay, so this one, you guys, it's not really a lip gloss, it's a chapstick. This is from Sunbum. This is an SPF 30 in the scent Banana. It's not open yet, but I keep these on hand. I love them in the summer. If I'm out at the pool or going out to the beach, I like this when I do no makeup. I don't want a lip gloss on. I want something with sunscreen. So this is what I take with me to the beach and keep in my beach bag. Okay, this one from Becca. This is the Opal X Jade. I know, Becca's not around. You guys, these are stunning. They're such a pretty like lip topper. The fact that I am so pale is beyond. I need a suntan. But I'm gonna keep this one as well. It's really pretty over lipstick. The Too Faced Pink Swan. <laughs> I love this shade. It smells like it's gone bad. I love the packaging on it, the little swans, you guys. So I'm going to throw this one away. The Nightmare on Elm Street from Kylie, the lip lacquer in Never Sleep Again. Really pretty, but I don't like how they like feather. So I'm going to throw this one away as well. The lip gloss from Bobbi Brown. This one's in the shade Pink Sugar. This one is no longer good, but I love, loved the Bobbi Brown lip glosses. Stunning. So I'm going to throw this one away. Okay, the Kylie Lip Lacquer in 24. This was from her birthday collection. And you guys, this one is really pretty. So I like these on top of a lipstick. I won't take this all the way out to the outer edge just because I don't want it to feather, but I do like this on top of like a nude shade to make it glossy. Okay, another one of the Hourglass Unreals in Fortune. This one's really pretty. It's kind of like a pinky nude shade. Love this one. I have staining from some of them, so don't mind that. Okay, let me get these ones out of the way. I just grabbed all the Fenty ones that were in here. So these are the gloss bombs, and then I also have the cream gloss bomb. This one is in Fenty Glow. Love the shade, it's just an opaque nude. Oh, you guys. Love that on the lips. It's so yummy and juicy. And then I also have these four in Confetti, Sweet Mouth, Pretty Please, and another one of the Fussies. I like the small one because I keep this one in my backpack or my purse, and then the big one stays at home. But these are great just to chuck in your purse or your backpack for whatever you're doing that day. If you want a dupe for those, these are the Maybelline Lifter Gloss. I have three different shades. I have Moon, Petal, and Reef. They're the nude shades that I gravitate towards. This one is glittery and shiny, and then these two are kind of like a matte, glossy shade. So, didn't need to throw those down. This one in Petal is just kind of like that really pretty opaque pinky shade. Love these, you guys, and they smell amazing. But if you're trying to get the the Fenty Gloss Bomb effect without the price tag, this is a great dupe for it. So, love those. These two from Laura Lee Los Angeles. I have the shade Strawberry Sky and E-Bug. This was from the collab with her niece, Erin. There's just a really pretty, like, glittery shade, nice and glossy and juicy on the lips. And it has a really nice like vanilla scent. And then this one in Strawberry Sky. Nice and glossy, nice and juicy. They feel amazing on the lips, love these. I have two more of the Enamored from Marc Jacobs. This one is in the shade Shine a Light. And then this one is Ch-Ch-Changes. <laughs> 
but really pretty. These ones are more of like a metallic top coat. So I'm gonna keep these as well. I love the Marc Jacobs Enamored. They're so nice. Okay, then I grabbed all the lip, Luxe lip glosses that I have. These ones I'm not gonna get rid of. I love these because they smell amazing, they feel great on the lips, along with like the gloss bombs. These are ones that I would also grab for. And I have a couple different shades with like top coat hues. This one is really icy and shiny and pretty. Um, but they all have something different. Some of them are more like a matte, no glitter. Some are super glittery, but it just depends on what you're looking for. But these, I seriously have lip gloss throughout the house because <laughs> that's really the only time I've been using it lately because of the face mask. And now like, I don't have to worry about that. Okay. I have these two from Dose of Colors. This one right here, this one is the most from the Desi and Katie collab. Really pretty, super metallic. Obviously, I've put it on over lipstick, which, if you don't mind, but it has the prettiest glitter particles in there. This one is Daisy Duck. It has like, do you see the metallic shift? It's got like pinky, purpley blue glitter in there. Oh, you guys. That's a problem with watching lip glosses. Like, they don't necessarily show up. So keeping those two. Okay, so you guys, I went through and I dug out all what I think is the ultra glossy lips from ColourPop. They are super beautiful on the lips. Some of them are super glittery, some are metallic, some have a color shift. These ones right here on the, your right side, my left side, um, these are all expired. So I'm gonna get rid of these. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight that I never used. And they're pretty. There's some really gorgeous, stunning shades in here. But I just, they've broken down. They no longer, like, the ultra glossy lips from ColourPop have a vanilla scent to them. These no longer have that scent. I know for sure that these have broken down and are expired. So I'm going to throw those away. Now these ones, and this was just a placeholder to keep them from rolling. We'll talk about that one in a minute. So these ones right here, they still smell good, but I don't necessarily reach for all of them. Like this one right here, this one, and this one are super glittery and beautiful. If you look at them, they have different under hues. Like this one is clear, this one's purpley, and this one's pinky. So I am going to keep these three. They are really stunning shades. They all have different types of glitter, chunky, fine. So it just depends on what you're looking for. So those ones I'm going to keep. These two right here were the Villains. Uh, they have different shades to them. So I will swatch them quickly. So that one is really pretty. I'm going to keep that one. And that is in Red Apple. Or that one is in the shade Bad Apple. And then this one is Shadow Man, which is, I think, Mr. Facilier. This one has a weird shift. So this one has like a gold to it. I'm going to get rid of that one. It's just not one that I reach for. But I do reach for the red. This one is Puppies. This one was Cruella de Vil's color. And it's more of like a silvery grayish hue. I do like that one, so I'm gonna keep that one as well. I have a couple of these like milky opaque colors. Let's go through these real quick. Oh, that's really pretty. I don't know that I'm gonna grab for this one though. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is in Sun Soap. This one in Menagerie. Oh, that's more of like a milky See, I don't go for that type of shade. I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. This one in Space Maker. This one doesn't have glitter. It's more of like an opaque shade. Um, I'm gonna keep that one. And then this one in Round Midnight. This looks more like it's milky peachy shade. Yeah, see, I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. This one in Always Sunny. This is kind of like the shade that I gravitate towards. It's clear, it has gold glitter. Yep, I'm gonna keep that one. And then I have this one from the Brown Sugar Collection. This one was so pretty. This is blousy. I love this shade, you guys. Yep, keeping it. This one is Sad But True, so Ursula. This one has like an iridescence to it, which I'm gonna keep. And then this one is Well Nested, kind of like an opaque purpley pink hue. 
gonna get rid of that one. Okay, you guys, these ones are from MAC. Now let me tell you right now, I haven't bought a new Dazzle Glass lip gloss from MAC, with the exception of these three from Aladdin. And Aladdin was two years ago. I'm going to get rid of all of these right here because I know that they're old. You can even see that some of them are breaking down. I'm not gonna say that they're not stunning. Look at just how sparkly and beautiful they are. But I know that they're no longer good, so it doesn't make sense to try and justify keeping them. Even smelling some of them, like you can tell that they're broken down. I wish I liked them more. I just have found other lip glosses that are smoother and less sticky. So I'm gonna get rid of all of these. The only three that I'm gonna keep are the ones from the Aladdin collab. Okay, so I have these two from Jeffree Star. One, they smell phenomenal. Um, and they're beautiful on the lips. Look at that fine glitter, you guys. So this one is in the shade Ice Cold, keeping. And then this one is in the shade Crystal Kiss. They are absolutely stunning on the lips, you guys. Look how just juicy and wet those are. So I'm gonna keep these as well. Okay, now we have some from Morphe. Some are the collab from Jeffree Star and then some are like holiday collections. Very beautiful. This one right here, this is in the shade Bewitched. It's just a really pretty like red glittery topper. Oh, beautiful. Gonna keep that one. This clear one, I have so many clear ones, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This is another clear one. This one right here is in Slurp. It is a topper. It's absolutely stunning, you guys. So that one I will keep. And then this one in Punch. Beautiful during like spring, summer, just fun color. This one in Kiss Kiss, just that really pretty peachy shade. Beautiful by itself on top of a lipstick, stunning. And then this shade in Beach Goals. Pretty, really glittery, but it's kind of like on the gold side. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one right here in Alchemy, kind of like a gold to pink shift, but I already kept like a lot of the like gold shift ones, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one in Charm, really like it. I'm gonna keep that one. It's so metallic, you guys. This one in Abracadabra. Super pretty, has an interesting like shift to it, kind of like brown to purple. This one is super glittery in Mesmerize. That's exactly what it does. Look how stunning that one is. Can you see it? This one in Enchanting, also really pretty. It's kind of like that silvery shade. Beautiful by itself, beautiful on top of something. And then this last one in Fortune Teller. This one is stunning on any pink shade and has like a gold shift. I also have one from Anastasia Beverly Hills that I like. I think I used to have it and it went bad so I had to throw it away. Okay, I have another one from Hourglass. This is the one in Ignite. Really pretty, shiny, just that really pretty like butterscotch color. Gonna keep this one. I love the Hourglass lip glosses. If you haven't tried them, go check them out. I have these ones from Becca. This one right here in this one, Amethyst Geode. Stunning. Look at this, you guys. Look how beautiful. Oh, the lighting is awesome. Stunning, you guys. I'm gonna keep that one. These two right here, they're so similar. One is Citrine Apricot and the other one is Champagne Dream Ambellini. I think I'm gonna keep the Citrine in Apricot. It has more of those like gold fire shifts. Even Swatch, you guys, they look, they're not even showing up, but they look identical. I am gonna keep the Citrine Apricot though. This one in Topaz Gilt. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's not really a shade that I gravitate towards. It's pretty, it's just, I'm not gonna keep it. The Rose Quartz and Seashell, this one is stunning. I think I'm gonna end up keeping this one. Yeah, it's really pretty and pinky. It's not coming up because the light. And then this one in Ruby Fire. It's really pretty. It's more of like a lip stain than like a lip gloss. This one I'm gonna get rid of. These three from Huda Beauty, I'm gonna keep all of them. This one is the Hydra Plumping Lip Balm in Blush. This one in Love Stone, which just came out. 
And then this is one of those lip toppers. It's a metallic lip gloss in Shameless. You guys, look how beautiful that is. I'm gonna keep that one as well. Okay, now from the drugstore, I have this one from Milani. This is the Fruit Fetish in Strawberry Melon. This lip oil is amazing. It smells so delicious. If it wasn't a lip oil, I'd probably eat it. But I'm gonna keep that. I have these two from L'Oreal. They're the infallible lip glosses. You guys, eight hour wear on this. They are amazing. They stay put. This one is in the shade Modern Mauve and Truffle. Stunning, love these, easy to grab. I need to use them more. This one from the collab with Camila Cabela from L'Oreal, love this, it smells amazing. I just have the smallest amount in here, literally right there you guys, and I am milking it for all it's worth. I want this back, I don't care if it's a collab, but the scent and the way the lip gloss feels and looks on my lips, is phenomenal, you guys, stunning. These two from e.l.f., they're the Mint Melt Lip Plumping Gloss. They're okay. Um, I'm also gonna get rid of them. They're just, they're not my favorite, so they're gonna go bye-bye. The Butter Gloss from NYX, this is in the shade Creme Brulee. I'm gonna keep this, it is absolutely stunning. I love the pinky shade. It just looks so nice on the lips. I like this for work because it's neutral and it, it feels great. The Wet n Wild Little Twin Stars, this one, you guys, smells amazing, looks great on the lips. It's just kind of like a milky pink shade. I just did a video on this, so go check that out. But this one, phenomenal. I have this one from Catrice. It's the Charming Fairy Lip Glow. <laughs> you guys, it is the most interesting lip product I have, but I really like it, so I'm gonna keep it. But look at it, do you see like the shift in it? Or am I crazy? I have this one from ColourPop. This is the Plumping Gloss and So Juicy um, Big Slice. This one smells amazing. It smells like a mint and it looks amazing on the lips. So I'm gonna keep this one. These two Juicy Tubes from Lancome. I love the Juicy Tubes. I grew up with these. They are some of my favorites. This one is in the shade Simmer and this one in Pink Horizon. Keeping both of these, I did make sure that they didn't break down already. This is the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Love this on the lips. It smells so yummy. This one's in Berry. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Go grab this, you guys. I have the Laneige like lip pots. I like these because I don't have to stick my finger in a pot. I can just push the balm out of the tube and I'm good to go. These two lip glosses from NARS, I have it in Daybreaker, which is kind of like that gold shift with glitter. Oh, you guys, so pretty. And then this pinky shade in La Chamade. Chamade? This peach shade, or pinky shade is stunning. You guys, love these. I have another Kiko Milano. This is the Hydra lip gloss in shade 17. So sparkly and yummy. Oh, you guys, look at that. Absolutely beautiful, keeping it. I have the Marc Jacobs. This is the Kissability Recover. I love this, you guys. I will actually wear this around the house before I put my lip, my makeup on and just let it sit. I really enjoy it. Another one of the Tarte Lip Glosses. This one is in Milk and Cookies. Oh, look how shiny and beautiful and sparkly that is, you guys. Oh. This one from Buxom. This is in the shade Sugar. Absolutely love this. It's completely broken down. I need to get rid of it. I probably will buy another one. You can see like how much I've used it and how much is actually left, but love, love, love this one. All right, these two from Kylie. They're the Lip Lacquers. This one for is one time for the birthday beep. It's kind of like an orangey shade, which I don't go for, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this one is Rare AF, also kind of like a brown shade, so I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. They're just not shades I go for. These two from Floss, I absolutely love them. This one is LAX and this one is ATH. It's just a pinky shade, really nice push tube. Absolutely beautiful. I'd never heard of these before until I got them in a subscription box, but I really like them for going to work and just being out the door with a nude shade. I have these ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is in the shade Vintage. I really, really like this shade. It's just kind of like that nude shade I gravitate towards. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one's in the shade Summer Vibes. 
it's just a really pretty like metallic kind of like an oyster color so i'm gonna keep that one and then these four this one in saint tropez is absolutely stunning it's one of my favorites this is the one that i thought i had lost or thrown away and apparently not so this one is stunning it's just like one of those shades that has like a shift to it i do like this one in the summer this one in pink tourmaline super glittery and stunning And then these two are also super glittery. This one is in pearl. And then this one is in citrine. This one from the Cinderella collab with Sigma. This one is in dreamy. Absolutely love this. It's really pretty opaque color. Gonna keep this one. This is another hip dot and clueless lip oil. Gonna keep this one as well. It's in the shade tie. These three from Too Faced. I just got them this year. Um, this one is... The Sunset Crush Hot Sunset Crush High Shine Sparkling Lip Gloss. Look how stunning that is, you guys. And then this one right here smells like hot cocoa. Phenomenal. And this one is Ginger Snap. So all three of those I'm gonna keep as well. This one from Merit. I just did a collab with them, and this is in the shade Pink Bee. Absolutely love this, you guys. It is so beautiful on the lips. It's just so nice and juicy, and part of their minimal makeup brand phenomenal love this this one from our beauty this is in nearly apricot i like this because it looks opaque but it actually goes on super clear and sheer love that the tarte busy gal gloss in precious i really like these i love small lip products because i can just grab them put them in my backpack i use them more than i do like oversized full-size products but this is super easy to grab so I have these two from Juvia's Place. I really wanted to like them. The downside is they're just not the shades that I gravitate towards, so I'm gonna get rid of these two. These are in the shade Bronze Maple and Bronze Toast. They're pretty, they're just not my shades. I have this one from Milani. It is in the shade Prismatic Peach. Love, love, love this, you guys. It's just so shiny and stunning. This one from Iconic London, it's in the shade Love Struck. It's a lip plumping and it's a opaque color. I don't usually go for lip plumping. I don't remember how this felt on the lips, but it is a nice clear, like opaquey pinky shade. Clear opaque, that doesn't make sense. So I'm gonna let this sit here and make my decision, but for right now I'm gonna keep it. This one from Girlactic, this is just kind of like a lip oil, not a name, and it doesn't really have a scent. It's kind of weird, but I do want to keep this because I did just recently get this, um, and I'll continue to try it out. This one from Hey Honey, Trick and Treat Lip Balm. This smells amazing. Now, what color is it? I don't think I've ever used this. Trick and Treat Lip Balm, what the heck? Okay, so it goes on clear, it just looks purple. That is really weird and like, Okay, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. <laughs> the Strawberry Peppermint, I don't know what brand this is. It's a lip balm. Strawberry. It just attacked me. Okay, you guys, I'm throwing this one away. One, it tried to attack me. Two, it smells like it's gone bad. <laughs> so, this one from Artist Couture, this is in the shade Shameless. Love, love, love this, you guys. It's just that like, really nice opaque lip gloss that I kind of go for and it's just a nude shade. Another Michaela and Glam Light. These don't have shade names on them which I'm kind of bummed about but this one is the like silvery glitter. Oh look at that you guys. I'm oh, stunning. The Tarte Man Eater in shade Buff. This one is also opaque. The doe foot is so freaking big you guys. Why? but it is a really pretty shade, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one from Laura Mercier in the shade Bear Babe. Ooh, yeah, see, that's a really pretty shade. This one from Juvia's Place in Brown Sugar. Absolutely love this. I kept this in my backpack for most of last summer. Stunning shade, and it smells amazing. It's just a really pretty, like, nude tan opaque shade. I have a ColourPop Land Roller Lip Gloss. <sighs> it's just so juicy and shiny. 
So I'm gonna keep this one as well. All right, I have a couple more. This one is from Rowan, it's in the shade Charlie. It's just kind of like an opaque nude shade. Let's see. Yeah, it kind of smells like mint. This e.l.f. Clear Lip Gloss, really nice. I like this one just to like have on hand to grab and put on my lips. So I'm gonna keep that one. This one in Hot Six from Bobbi Brown. I wanna keep it, I love this shade, but I know that it's old. I've had it for a minute, so that's what it looks like. And I'm going to get rid of it. This Borges B Gloss Lip Gloss in the shade Fiore. Love, love, love this, you guys. It's just an interesting like metallic nude. It makes the lips look really juicy. I'm gonna keep that one. The Honey Sheen from Pixie by Petra. This is a really pretty shade. Bummed that the top just came off, but oh well, not a big deal. And then this last one, this is from Polar, the Genuine Lapland Cream. Ooh, that smells really nice. So I'm gonna keep this one as well. Okay, now I have the High Gloss from Kylie. I wasn't impressed with these. They're okay, they're not great. They're kind of sticky, like the MAC ones. So this one's in the shade You Are The Sun, and then this one is just the clear one in Crystal. I'm actually gonna get rid of these. They're not my favorite. The Juvia's Place Nubian Glow Lip Balm. Love this stuff. This is in Coconut. Smells amazing. Absolutely love this. Go try it out. This one from Kevin Aquan. This is the Lip Gloss in Sunlight. Love, 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 love this, you guys. Absolutely stunning. So if you haven't tried it, go try it. I was sent this, I think in a subscription box. I know I didn't purchase it, but I love this, you guys. Okay, you guys, now I have the Fresh Kiss Lip Lacquers from ColourPop. Obviously, I'm not gonna keep all of these shades. So this brown one in Cherry Liqueur, not my brand of color. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. I think I'm gonna keep this one in Cafe de Paris. It's a really pretty like black cherry shade. I'm gonna keep that one. This one in Sidecar, it's a pretty red. It's just not my shade of red, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one in Scotch Kiss, it's more purpley than pink, and I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one from Tinkerbell, this is the Clap If You Believe. I really like this shade, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm also gonna keep On The Ritz, which is kind of like a pinky shade. Cabaret, which is a little more of like a burnt pink. This one, Brandy, super pretty nude. And then this one in Speakeasy. So those ones I'm gonna keep as well. Okay, you guys, we're starting on lipsticks. This doesn't look like a lot, but that's because I have a lot of them in these little trays. And actually, I don't have a lot of lipsticks anymore. So we're gonna go through this pretty quickly, I think. Okay, I'm gonna start out with some of my ones from the drugstore, especially because I have an idea of the ones that I'm gonna keep. Okay, so these right here are from Maybelline. This one right here is Baddest Beige. Absolutely love this shade. It's nice and juicy on the lips. I'm keeping this one. That is my stepping off point. Then this one in Spicy Mauve. Also really pretty, super shiny. Love this one as well. This one in Ruby for me, I think this was one of the like universal shades where it could be anyone's lip color no matter the skin tone. So I'm gonna keep that one. Love a good drugstore red. This one in Pink for me, this is also one of those universal shades. I never ended up using it, but it is a really pretty shade and I need to reach for that one. Maybelline has some beautiful lip colors. Also Mauve for me, never used it, huh but I'm gonna keep that one as well. And then this one in Lust for Blush. That one, oh, it looks like it's like dispersing the wax. I'll swatch it, but I'm gonna get rid of it. It's pretty, it's just, that's the problem with like drugstore. You can't really swatch it in store. So it is like pushing the wax out of it. So I'm gonna throw that one away. These are the L'Oreal Color Riche. This one is in Varnished Rosewood. Absolutely love this. Why is it pulling it down? It is super juicy and pretty, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one in enamel red. Never used it. It's really pretty though. Look how juicy that is, you guys. And then this one in sparkling rose. 
This one I absolutely love. I've used so much, you guys, look at that. Stunning. I love this one. So keeping that one as well. Now I know I have some of these that are a little bit older, like Show Off. This is a matte red. Actually, I think this one's fairly new. That one is really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This one in Wild Thoughts. This is also a matte. Oh no, this one's also new. Look at that one, you guys. I'm gonna keep that one. Doubt Sun's Nude. This one's a little bit older. This one I think I'm probably gonna get rid of. Yeah, it needs to go. It's just like that orangey nude. It's not the shade that I gravitate towards. This one in Golden Splendor. Pretty, it's just, I haven't used it. This one from L'Oreal in Daring Roche. Blush, Daring Blush. Ooh, that one's really pretty. This one in Mauve, this one's a little bit older. I think this one's time to go, but it is really pretty. It's just like that shiny metallic that I don't wear anymore. I, there was a time that I just always wore metallic shades. So that one is gonna go away. This one in Ballerina Shoes. I used to love this baby pink shade. I do not reach for baby pink anymore. You guys, look how shiny it is. Plum Explosion. Oh, this one's so old. <laughs> it's a pretty shade though. And then Raspberry Rush. Yeah, you guys, look at that. It's so waxy now. This one in Ferris Nude, I loved this. Oh no, this one's fairly new. I think I recently purchased this one. Yeah. That one I'm gonna keep as well. This one in Mica, this one's a little bit older. Yeah, this one I'm gonna get rid of. It's pretty, it's just, it's old. And then this one in Golden Grape. <laughs> this was a pretty shade too, you guys. But it's so waxy, it doesn't even look like it used to. And then these two were with Carl Lagerfeld. This one is in Contemporary. Did I ever use this one? Ooh, that's pretty though. I'm gonna keep that one. And then this one is in Cultured. This one I did use. Oh yeah, I liked this one. Ugh. So those ones I'm going to keep. Okay, guys, and now on to ColourPop. I have lipsticks, lippy sticks, and some other randoms that are in here. Now, looking at these, so I have a bunch of the lipsticks right here. I wanna knock out the lippy sticks first. Let's see, I have this one in the shade Fab. Ooh, that's a really pretty tan. I'm gonna keep that one. This one in Infinite Best. It's like a burnt purple. No, that's like a burgundy purple I'm gonna keep that one I do like the lippy sticks they are really nice to just have in your purse this is Verde Valley mm, that's not really my shade I'm gonna get rid of that one this one in nice things is kind of a peachy shade I don't really gravitate towards like that type of peach actually it's more coral than peach so I'm gonna get rid of that one this one in skywalking Ooh, I'm keeping that one. That's stunning. This one in Best Intentions. Ooh, love that one. Keeping it. The problem with lipsticks, they start rolling away. This one in the shade Soft Side. Uh, I don't think this is my shade. It's not. This one in Chakra Wave. Oh, that's pretty. Like a good pinky nude. Sweet stuff. But this one's a little more purple. Probably not gonna keep that one. Nope. This one in the shade Energy Field. Ooh, yeah, that one I'm gonna keep. This one in the shade at Twilight. Um, it's a little more orangey peach than I go for, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. Uh, Prairie Home. This is like a burnt. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Brat Pack. Uh, it's a little too brown. Um, actually, I like that shade. I'm gonna keep that one. I'm really surprised. And then Fab. Wait, didn't I just swatch a Fab? I know I did. All right, that one's gonna go away too. Then I have these three from the Hello Kitty collab. 
I never ended up actually doing a video on it. This one is in Fun in the Sun. Ooh. That is a really nice shade for the spring, so I'm gonna keep that one. Then Tropic Cute. Ooh. Also really fun, keeping that one. And then Hello Fruity. That one's too pink. I'm going to actually give that to a friend because it hasn't been used. I have this one, it's a lip crayon in Rose Way. That's pretty, it's just really pinky. It's not really the shade I go for. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. Okay, you guys, and now we have all the lipsticks. So I'm gonna start right here. This one is Evil Queen. Ooh, such a beautiful red. Gonna keep that one. This one is Simon Says. I don't think that's, um, actually I'll keep that one. I do like that. Kate. Um. Ooh, I like that one. I really need to play around with these more. This one is Golden Beach. Ooh, yeah, I loved this one from the Barbie collab. And I was really surprised because it was like a peachy nude, but I really like it. The other one from the Barbie collab, this one is Dream House. Ooh, I'll keep that one. Now, I think the one that I'm not gonna keep is this one, Malibu Sunset. I don't even wanna swatch it. I just know I'm not gonna keep that. I'm gonna give this to a friend who I know will wear that shade. This one is Regulate. Ooh, actually, I haven't been keeping a lot of browns. This is one of those that I might actually keep, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Plucked. Ooh, yes, you guys, I need a plummy shade. Band T, and these are the Lux Blurs. These ones right here, that's why they're not like super concentrated. Oh, looks like it's broken, but I'm gonna keep that one. I do like their blur lipsticks. This one from Rudolph is in the shade Rudolph, which is that beautiful red. Oh, you guys, keeping. This one should be Clarice. This was that beautiful nude that I used in the video, keeping that one. This is Matte AF, also another matte blur. I think I wore this in the video that I did. Yep, that's stunning. Crying, beautiful. Oh, yes. I'm running out of room, you guys. <laughs> this one is Call Waiting. Oh, look at that red, you guys. It's so stunning. Scorpio Moon. Oh, this is the collab with Kathleen Lights. I love her channel. It's like a purpley mauve. I'm gonna keep that one. I don't know it's one that I like reach for that much, but I do need to have a variety. This one from Villains, this is Maleficent. Um, I don't think I like her shade. No, that's not really it. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Cruella. She's more orangey than red. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of hers too. This one is Ursula. Do I need to keep a purple? I'm going to just in case you never know when you need that shade in your collection. Then Dr. Facilier. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that one too. This one from Kathleen Lights was What's Your Sign? Uh, not my shade. This one, it's Faux. This is a cream lipstick. Um. It's okay, it's pretty. Uh, I'm gonna keep that one. This one, Gen X. Ooh, that is definitely like my shade. Yes, you guys, that one. This one from the Disney Designer Collection. This is Snow White. That one's really pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. This one in Brick. This is, I think, the Brown Sugar collab. Stunning, I'm gonna keep that one. Haven't kept a lot of browns. They just really have to speak to me. This one is Belle from the Disney Designer. That one's really pretty. Million Dollar Baby. Oh, that red. Yes, I am keeping that one and I've never used it before. Why not? This one from Ariel. Ooh. 
that's beautiful i'm gonna keep that one too this one from mulan this is hua mulan oh you guys that's stunning they're very similar though okay now from the nightmare before christmas this is oogie boogie oh yeah he was the nude shade I think all three of those are like very similar. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them though. Don't judge, no judgments here. This one is Sally. I wanna say she was the pink, yep. Not gonna keep this one. As much as I like Sally in the packaging. And then Jack Skellington. Ooh, that red, that is vibes. Yeah, we're gonna keep that one too. So Oogie Boogie and Jack Skellington. Okay, you guys, and now for the MAC Bullet lipsticks. I just have these two Urban Decay ones holding them in place because um, lipsticks like to roll for some odd reason. All right, not set it, starting anywhere particular. We'll grab this one. This is one of the MAC and Selena. This is in the shade Selena Vive. Ooh, that's a really pretty nude lipstick. Keeping that one. This one is Sweet Sakura. That's like a orangey red. Mmm, not my favorite. This one in Burning Love. This is a powder kiss. Ooh, I'm gonna keep that one. Walk of Flame. Yo, you guys. Um, I have never actually used that one. Look at that, you guys. It's stunning. This is one of the holiday collections. Keeping that one. We'll go with the Aladdin. This one is Friend Like Me. Um, it's a very nude. I feel like a pink lip liner underneath that would be really pretty with that shade, so I'm gonna keep it. Another Aladdin. This one is Raja. Yep, yeah, that one's pretty. So another, the last Aladdin one, this is Princess Incognito. Oh yeah, this one's really pretty. I like that nude shade. Another Max Selena, this is Dreaming of You. Ooh, how many purpley burgundy shades am I gonna keep? A more prohibido. Ooh, nude shade. Ooh, and that's just like one of those creamy shades. This one was one of the holiday collections. This is Holiday Crush. See, I don't know that I need the gold. This would be really pretty on top of like a dark shade though. So I might keep that one. I need to play around with my lipsticks more. Shimmer and Spice. You guys, this shade, I swear every time I wore this, one of my friends tried to take it. Oh, I love this shade. The Patrick Star Collection Slay Ride. Ooh, that red, you guys. Stunning. Keeping that one. Spink Me Santa. <laughs> Yes, stunning, keeping that one. From the Aaliyah collab, this is Hot Like. Um, see, that's more of like, I like that red, but I also like this one. This is more of a blue red, and this is more of like a pink red, I think. I'm gonna keep that one too. More Than a Woman. Uh, how many of these like burgundy shades? See, and it's even got more blue than red in some of these. Cream in your coffee. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Yet, why have I not used this one? Am I getting rid of any MAC ones? 608 Myrrh. Yeah, see, I know last time I did my declutter for lipsticks, I absolutely got rid of tons of them. Ruby Woo, this is like their most famous red lip I'm keeping that one. Baited Breath. Okay, yeah, keeping that one. My swatches are horrible, you guys, but this is just me trying to get rid of decluttering these. Frambois Maw, this is one of their spring collections. Oh, see, I like that shade, but I'm just like, do I need to keep it? And the answer is no. Wagasa Twirl, this was the nude shade for that spring collection. Yeah, keeping that one. This one from Patrick Star was Sweet Mama Star. I don't know why that one's just rolling around on the table. Ooh, that's a pretty nude. I'm gonna keep that one. This is Velvet Teddy. Ooh, that's a nice nude. Yeah, keeping that one. And then these last two, Straight Fire. 
Ooh, look at that red. Yes. And then this one is A Wink of Pink. Oh yeah, I love this one as well. Oh. Okay, I have a bunch of randoms here. This one right here, I can already tell you that I'm not gonna get rid of. This is the Air Light from Joa. It's in Cloud Nine. Absolutely love this one. I will absolutely keep this one. This one from Pure and Barbie. It's in the shade Inspire. <laughs> Look at that, you guys. I don't know that I need to keep it. Uh, I probably don't but it's such a fun like shade and look at the packaging. I'm going to, I'm honestly keeping this so much fun. If I could find a way to, no, I can't take it apart. I could try from floss. This is in the shade sandals. Oh, this is one of those twist ones. Um, I don't know about this shade. Um, I do like that shade. I'm going to keep it from Shiseido. This is exotic red. Ooh, that's an interesting tube. I like that though, keeping it. From Marc Jacobs, we have Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. Ooh, that's definitely my shade. i keep that one. Too Faced in Naked Dolly. Yes. This one I've had on before and on the lips, it's really pretty because it takes on the pink hue with the peach. So I'm gonna keep that one. Now this one is Unicorn Tears. This one's actually really weird <laughs> in the best way because it's kind of like a blue, but on top of different colors, it'll actually shift it. So I'm gonna keep that one too. Okay, so I have a lot of these like lippy sticks from different brands. This one is from Kiko Milano in 00. It's just like a clear crystal type of one, almost kind of like a lip gloss, keeping that one. And then Lord and Berry in the shade Maximate. Sure. It's kind of like a nude shade. I'm going to keep that one. The Maybelline Superstay Ink Crayon in, this is in the shade Stay Exceptional. That is really pretty. I'm going to keep that one too. Physician's Formula Rose Kiss All Day Velvet Lip Color. Ooh, that one's pretty, gonna keep that. This one isn't even open. It's in Marietta's. I'm gonna keep it, but I'm not gonna swatch it yet. I might pass this on. From Nude Sticks, the Intense Matte Lip and Cheek Pencil in Kiss. Ooh, that's really pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. This one from NARS in the shade Rikujian. That's really pretty, I'm gonna keep that one too. Bahama. It's an interesting brown. I'm gonna try that one out. Also, Dolce Vita. This one was really pretty, I think. Or maybe... It's kind of like a lip stain, so I'm gonna keep that one too. From Bite Beauty, I have the lip crayon in Mauve Marzipan, and I wanna say this was like a metallic. It is. It's interesting. I'm gonna keep it for now. Also from Bite, this is Rhubarb. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that shade too. So this one is the one from Charlotte Tilbury in Pillow Talk. You guys, this one is stunning. I am gonna keep it. It is a little sample, so I'm not swatching it. But Pillow Talk is like her most famous color. This one from Bobby Brown is Babe. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Oh, it's like a muted, like blotted color. I'm gonna keep that one. From Illa Masqua, I have Solar. Um, I don't even think I need to swatch this one, but I already know I don't like that one. So I'm gonna pass this one on. I'm not gonna wear it. Makeup Forever, this is Artist Rouge Cream. It has a pretty nude. Yes. This one is the Physician's Formula Lip Butter in Pop the Bubbly. It's like a metallic. I'm like, it's really weird. I'm gonna throw this one away. I think it's really old. Joa Jelly Bay in Babe. That's a pretty shade. The Aritza Beauty in Lido. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. These three from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This one is in Lychee. 
Ooh, that's interesting. It's kind of like metallic with silver glitter. This one in guava. Oh no, mm, mm mm. That's orange. I can't, I, I'm not even gonna swatch it. I'm just gonna give it to a friend. In coconut. That's a pretty shade. Yep, I'll keep that one too. From Tarte, I have Naughty Nude. Mm. Nah, I'm good. I'm gonna throw that one away. And then this one in Berry Mojito. Ooh. Yes, I'm keeping that one. This one from Jouer in Honey Kiss. This is more like a lip gloss glaze, if you wanna call it that. It's really pretty and shiny, keeping that one. Okay, now I have found a couple more, like these are ColourPop, Drugstore, ColourPop. So this one from ColourPop is Fred. Beautiful red, so I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Bling Ring. Pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. And then Tiana. Also gonna keep that one. This one from Revlon is Cherry Blossom. This one is also really old. It's pretty, I'm gonna get rid of it though. This one from CoverGirl and Katy Perry is Couture Tricot Griefs? Griffs? I don't know. So <laughs> It's pretty, I think it's really old. I'm gonna get rid of it. From Jeffree Star, this is Alien Tears. It's, I put it on over pink, but it's kinda got that like glitter to it, so it's really sparkly. I'm gonna keep that one. From Lauren Conrad, you have Shell. Also really pretty. These two are from Hip Dot, and this was the Reese's collab. This one is Chocolate Lovers. Ooh. It's more like a lip gloss than like lipstick. And this is Peanut Butter Lovers. I'm gonna keep both of those. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of Peanut Butter Lovers. From Uoma, I have Maya. This one was a stunning shade. Such a pretty nude, this one right here. From Kylie, I have Coco K. Beautiful nude, keeping that one. You guys, my hands are so stained from lipsticks right now. This one is Almost Friday. Um, It's more orangey than, yeah, I'm not gonna keep that one. From Melt, I have Old Rose. That one's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. All right, now I've got the Urban Decay ones. This one is Trance. Ooh, that's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. Juicy, oh my goodness, you guys, I love this shade. It came out with the Cherry Palette. On top of it, a color, it is stunning or by itself on the lips, it just so beautiful. Daenerys Targaryen, this was the um, Game of Thrones collab. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one too. And then Devilish. Keeping that one. White Walker. Ooh. Keeping that one. I have Naked. Ooh. I need to use that one. Wrath. Oh, you guys, that one is stunning. Yes. And then this one is Callback. Uh, I don't know that this is the. This is not my shade. And then this one is Rebel. Look at the packaging, you guys. Isn't that stunning? I'm gonna keep that one. And then Cherry. Oh, it's starting to wax over. Like I see it pushing the wax out. It's pretty though. I am gonna get rid of it though. Okay, I'm gonna start back here. I have this little lip crayon from Tristique in the shade English Rose. Like a little mini lip glaze. That's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. This one from Kiko Milano in Dolce Diva 02. It's like one of those little stylo lipsticks. That's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. Kosas Sport in Rush. Oh, that's interesting. I don't remember this one. Actually, I think this was a subscription box. It's like a lip 
tint. I'm gonna keep it. I need something for outside. Oh, another one from Tarte. Huh, I missed this one. This one I always had at work, but I think I've had this for quite some time, so it's almost like done. And it's just, yeah, gone. This one from Appeal Ultra Cream. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, no, let me get rid of that one. A Tour Cream Smoking on Screen. Interesting, that's a pretty shade though. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one from Benefit. This came out in 2021? I'm not sure. It did. That is really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This one's Sephora in Wilderberry. It's pretty. It's pushing wax, though. Mm. And it's broken. We're gonna throw that one away. This is one of those Sun Bum ones as well. This is one of their lipsticks in Bonfire. Oh, it says it expired expired in July 2021. I can at least show you what it looks like, but it's one of the colored like lip gloss or lip balms. All right, and then I have this one from Milani and Peony. I just did a video on this one. It is stunning. Love that shade. Keeping, this is supposed to be like the dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Sweet Talk or Pillow Talk. La Muse, this one is Cherry. Also another twist balm one. Ooh, I'm not gonna keep that one. Uh, Bite Beauty, this is Glacé. I really like this one. It's just one of their like lip pencils, keeping. This one from Bite is Meringue. Ooh, just a really pretty nude. Those two would actually be a really pretty ombre. Spiced Plum. Ooh, that's an interesting purple. Oh, really interesting. Black truffle. Um, I'm gonna keep it. I don't know that I need it. And then the little tiny ones. This one is in sake. I love this shade, you guys. Love. I like the little tiny ones. They're so easy to use. Good juju, or good juju bee. Really pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. And then Cherry Truffle. That one's pretty, it looks like it's pushing wax. Ooh, I'm not gonna keep that one, and it also felt weird. Ruby Bonbon. Bon. That's a pretty purpley nude. I'm gonna keep that one too. From Lipstick Queen, I have Cockney. Ooh, that's a really pretty red. Like a lip balm. I'm gonna keep that one. Look at the packaging though, it's stunning. This one is medieval. Ooh. Um, I don't like that one. Reckless Red. Uh, that's pushing wax or is it, that's a weird, yeah, I'm getting rid of that one. Frog Prince. Um, I think this is one of those like color changing ones or it's just green. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. And Morning Sunshine. I think this one's like yellow. Oh, see, it changes color. Went from green to like a pink. I think the yellow does the same thing. Yeah, it's starting to change. I don't like that though. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one from KKW, this is Enchanting. It's a pretty shade. I'm running out of room, you guys. I'm gonna keep that one. Okay, you guys, next from Artist Couture. I have Boy Toy. Oh. Where? Right there. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. And then I have three from Pat McGrath. This one is Rebel Red. You guys, look at the packaging. That's stunning. Rebel Red is beautiful. Let's see, right there. Yep, keeping that one. This one is Flesh Fatale. Ooh. Stunning. Keeping. And Nude Romantique. Also really pretty. Yes. Then I have these three from Huda Beauty. This one is Promotion Day. Oh, you guys that red. Yep, we're gonna have to go on the inside. Stunning. Keeping that one. I like these because they're also magnetized. This one is Payday. 
Yes. Honeymoon. All the fun times. It's really pretty pink. And then this one is, this is the cream lipstick in Angel. Which, you guys, stunning. So I'm gonna keep those as well. Okay, you guys, and last but not least, we have liquid lipsticks. Um, I'm not gonna say this is like the biggest part of my collection. I just know that they're the hardest to get off my hands compared to lipsticks and lip glosses. So this is everything from the drawer. Let me break it down and we will get through this. Okay, starting with liquid lipsticks. So these are the ones from Jeffree Star. Let's see, this one is Jeffree Who. And it's just kind of like that shade right there. I'm gonna keep that one. Hi, how are ya? Which is his catchphrase into his videos. It's a really pretty shade. I'm gonna keep that one as well. A lot of the brighter shades I'll keep in liquid lipstick form. I don't like them in lipsticks because sometimes they Smear, smear, smear. This one, uh, not a huge fan of that one. It's more like lilac-y, but I think, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Cherry Wet. Ooh, that one's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Calabasas. I have the lip liner in this, so I'll probably keep the liquid lipstick in it, which, yep, it's really pretty. This one is Celebrity Skin, really pretty nude shade. It's about as nude as I get. I'll do like a darker lip liner and then put that on top. This one is Poinsettia, love this shade. It's really pretty, I think it was one of the first, no it's not, I think Unicorn Blood. Red Rum was my first shade from Jeffree Star, never mind. That's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one as well. This one is No Tino Shade. I'm not sure about this one. No, it's old too. I'm gonna to get rid of this one. And then this one is just question mark. It was a mystery shade in a mystery box that I purchased. Mm, no, that one's too much of like bubblegum pink. Next I have the Kaleidos Lip Clays. These are a beautiful formula. If you've never tried Kaleidos, go check them out. I found them this year or I found them last year and so surprised. This one is Cold Smoke. I just got this part of the like new collection that they have. I don't know how I feel about that shade. I am going to pass this on to a friend. This one is Smeared Rouge. Oh yeah, this shade. So beautiful, keeping that one. This one is Terra. This was from the Flower Punk collection. This is not my favorite shade. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Dune. Ooh, I like that one, I'm gonna keep that. This one is Skinship, also from the new collection. I'm gonna keep that one. It's not necessarily my favorite shade, but I might be able to use like a darker lip pencil. This one is Sienna. Mm. I'll keep that one as well. This one is Adobe. Mm. I like that one. And then this one is Cognac, which is really pretty. It's like that deep dark red kind of on the brownie side. So I'm gonna keep that one as well. These ones from Too Faced, you guys, I absolutely, this one I already know. This one is Sugar Cookie, my favorite of all times. <laughs> when I run out of this, I'm gonna be so upset. But that is my favorite nude lipstick from Too Faced. Keeping that one. This one is Pumpkin Spice. And these smell amazing, you guys. I don't really go for like the orangey shades. I'm gonna keep this one just in case. This one is Queen Bee. And it's kind of like on the purpley side. Mm, I'm gonna keep that one too. This one is Gingerbread Man. Definitely not my shade. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is the Melted Metallic and Faking It. Uh, Oh, it's not so bad. I'm gonna keep that one because it's kind of like sugar cookie, but metallic. 
This one is Cinnamon Bear. This is more of like an orangey red, so I don't know if I'm going to keep this one. Ooh, actually, I lied. I'm going to keep that one. Hot Buttered Rum. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep that one too. And then Cinnamon Bun. This one was this year's. See, and that's a little bit darker than Sugar Cookie, so I guess I'll be good when I run out. Okay, now we've got Huda Beauty. This one I just got, and it is Red 08. This one, I want to say, has more of like an orangey hue for the red. Yeah. I like it. I'll keep it. It's not like orangey reds are not my favorite. This one is Jet Setter. Ooh, yeah, I'll keep that one. It's really pretty. Heartbreaker, which I just recently got this one with a lip liner. It was one of the like lip kits that I bought. That one's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that red. This one is Showgirl. It's a metallic red. I don't know how I feel about that. Mm, it is pretty. I'll keep that one. Legend. Ooh, yeah, I'll keep that one. Trophy Wife. Ooh, yeah, I'll keep that. Icon. Yep, keeping it. I think these ones I had already broken down as much as I wanted to. This one is Savage. This one might be a little bit, that one I'm gonna get rid of. Famous. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. Ooh, I'm keeping that one. Oh, and then I have another Heartbreaker. So I'm gonna keep both of them. I might have a friend who wants one. The downside is I don't know which one I didn't use. Okay, I have these four from Laura Lee. I really like her formula. This one is in Jaybird, and I think I ended up keeping all the ones I liked last time. Yeah, that one's really nice, keeping that. Show off, and you guys, they smell amazing. They just have like that vanilla buttercream. Oh yeah. This one was the one that I lost the sticker on, so I don't know the name of it, but it was just like a nude shade. Uh, I want to say that's like too peachy nude, so I'm going to get rid of that one. And then topless, and I want to say this is was my favorite that I was using. Oh yeah, I'm going to keep that one. Okay, I have these ones from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have a feeling I'm going to get rid of a lot of them because they are all metallics mostly. We'll start over here. This is one of the matte shades. This is in On Mute. Actually, this might be the shade of Sugar Cookie. Ooh, I'm going to keep that one. It kind of looks like Sugar Cookie from Too Faced. So this one is Peachy. It says it in its name. I probably won't keep it because of that shade. Yep. It's not my shade. Trust Issues. It's just kind of like that purpley shade. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Beaming. Some of these I might keep just as like lip toppers. Ooh, that, that might be pretty as like in the center. This is a lip topper in Blizzard. This one is stunning. I'm gonna keep that one. This one in Mai Tai. Um, no, not really the shade I'm going for. Bellini. Um, no, it's very metallic. This one in Sunset Punch. It looks purple. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of that one. And then Phantom. That one's pretty, that one I'll keep. Okay, so I have a hodgepodge. These are the Ciate Glitter Flips. Um, they're a lot of fun because when you put them on your lips and then you press your lips together, they actually produce the glitter that you can see right here in this one kinda. So this one is Infamous. I'm running out of room, you guys. That's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. Forbidden. I'll try it. It's interesting. It does have like pinky blue glitter in it. This one is Whisper, which beautiful nude. Oh yeah, that one looks like sugar cookie too. Hollywood. 
Ooh, that one's pretty. Yeah, I'm gonna keep all four of those. Okay, so this one from Ofra, this is in collab with Madison Miller. It's Oh My Rai Rai. This is a really pretty nude shade. Keep that one. This one is Sao Paulo. This one I'm not a fan of. It's more like peachy nude, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Milan. Oh, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Charmed. Oh, that is like my shade. And then Rendezvous. Oh, that one's pretty too. From By Beauty, I have these three. I have Raised. Oh, that's pretty. This one is Flambe, which looks like kind of an orangey shade. Probably not keeping, no, that one. Oh, no, no. So getting rid of that one. And then Whip. This one's kind of a nude shade, so I might probably, oh, that's a little too nude. That one's gone. This one from Bobbi Brown is Crushed. I think the shade is Crushed. Little tiny miniature. Ooh, y'all yeah, keep that one. And then these two, I've talked about them a lot before. These are the lip, Velvet Lip Perfectors from Clarins. This one is in the shade 01. It's my go-to nude shade for work. Um, that's it right there. Just easy, looks, makes your lips look smooth. And then this one is in the shade 03. Right there. It's a wash of color, but it looks beautiful on the lips. So I'm keeping both of those. Okay, now I have Kylie. And I love Kylie lip products. The liquid lips are stunning, but I don't actually use all these shades. So we'll start right here with this shade Paris. That's a really pretty pink. I just don't wear pink that often. I'll keep it and we'll see. This one is Close. And I think this is more of like a burnt. See, it's more orangey. So I'm going to get rid of that one. This one is Mood. Uh, no, it's too orange. This one is Bite Me. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Yep, keeping that one. This one is Boss Bay. Mm, it's pretty. It's... Not my favorite. I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Bear. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. Mary Jo K. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. Angel. Ooh, I'm keeping that one too. Autumn. This one looks a little too orange. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is One Wish. Oh, that red one is like bleeding everywhere. I didn't shake it well enough. Then we have Allergic to Bullshit. <laughs> That's a pretty nude. We have Kiss Me Sailor. This one is Bikini Bod. Oh, that one's pretty. The one named for her, which is Kylie. Oh yeah, I'll keep that one, that's pretty. And Candy K. Oh yeah, keep that one too. You guys, I ran out of room. Okay, now on to ColourPop. And I know I have held on to some that I probably shouldn't have. So I'm gonna start with these smaller ones because they like to move more, and I have one that's currently holding everything in place. So this one right here, this is Love Bug. It looks a little more orange than I gravitate towards. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one. Echo Park. Uh, that reminds me of Sugar Cookie, so I'll keep that one. Uh, Secreto. This one's a little more orange than I gravitate towards, so. Yep, that one's going bye-bye. This one, Kronos. It's a little red. Um. Not my shade. It's bye bye. Uh, Suene de Coco. Not really my shade. Mike Check. This one's a metallic shade. 
Um, not my color. I really have held on to a lot of what I don't need. This one is Cloud Chaser. It's kind of a purpley shade. Ooh, that's kind of pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. This one is Besame. It's like a burnt red. That's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. Weird, I don't usually gravitate towards those colors, but it's pretty. This one is Lucky Star. Ooh, yeah, I'm keeping that one. Oje there. This one's kind of orange. I'm probably gonna get rid of this one. Yeah, Little Star. This one's more brown. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Dulcet. That's a pretty shade. I don't know that I'd wear it though. Probably not, so I'm gonna get rid of that one too. Holly Lolly. That's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, Nimbus. It's a quite interesting shade. It's kind of purple. Yeah, I'm not keeping that one. This one is Miha. Ooh, that's pretty. This one is Swing Away. Uh, it's not my shade. This one is Melonade. Ooh, that's pretty, I'm gonna keep that one. Scenic Route, it's a little more orange just looking through the tube. Uh, I'm gonna get rid of it. Like I just need to be honest with myself. This one is Cypress Chill. Oh, that one feels really dry. I think it's probably expired, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. There's no name on it, oh no. All right, well, it is what it is. It's pretty, I just won't wear it. It's not my shade. La La Land. This is a pretty red. Ooh. You guys, that's pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. And then the Lux Liquid Lipsticks. This one is in the shade Take a Bow. That's pretty. It's kind of like a wash of color though. It's not super bold. I'll keep that one. This one is Beast. Ooh, that's pretty, I'll keep that one. This one, it's a banger. Get rid of that one. This one is Strong Chi. Ooh, that's a pretty red. Wonder Boy. Mm. I'll keep that one, it's pretty. This one is Prince Philip. Uh, not my color. This one is Prince Naveen. It's kind of like a burnt orange shade. Yeah, it's not really my shade. This one is on Cloud Dynasty. Oh, that's pretty, but I'm getting rid of it. And then Prince Charming. Oh, that's pretty, but it's not really my shade. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. Okay, now we have a dose of colors. I love their liquid lipstick formula. It lasts all day, just one of my favorites. So we'll start down here. So this one is Warm and Fuzzy. I love their nude shades, you guys. Okay, obviously keeping that one. This one is Stone. This is more of like a purpley mauve. Really like that one. This one I reach for a lot. This one is Donald Duck. I don't know that I want to keep this one because it's more of like orangey tan. This one is extra saucy. Ooh, yes. Love that one. And then Merlot. One's a little more on the pinky side. We have Irreplaceable. Beautiful red. This one was the mini collection. Really pretty, keep that one. Strawberry Pop. This one's more of like a pinky shade. 
It's like that watermelon pink. Even though it says strawberry pop. Beautiful. Also the mini collection. Um, those two shades are very similar, but that one's liquid and that one's mousse. I like the liquid lipstick formula better. So I'm gonna keep that one. Lazy Daisy. Oh, yeah. That one's a little more tan than purple like this one. I like their shade range. There's quite a few different colors that I like in this. Talk is chic. I don't think I've ever used this one. I don't think I knew that I had this one in my collection. It's more like magenta. I'm gonna keep it though. And then flirty. Also another nude. I love their nude shades. And this one right here, a mob story. This is the Desi X Katie. This one I'm almost out of and I actually bought a replacement when <laughs> I first purchased it. I bought it, I fell in love with it, bought a spare for when I run out, which I'm almost there. And that shade, you guys, is stunning. Like they have other shades that are similar, but not exactly. So we're gonna keep both of these. Okay, now we have some from the drugstore or affordable makeup. Okay, so right here I have the L'Oreal I Create. Why is it turning green? I mean, it doesn't smell bad, but the fact that it's green, <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. Like that, seriously? This one is the shade I enjoy. It's green up there, you guys. Oh my goodness. I'm not worried about my hand like breaking out and whatever, but the shades are pretty. This one is the Ultra Matte Liquid Lipstick. I got this when I was in London, <laughs> so I know that this is old. This was one of the chocolate ones in Tasty Ruby. It's a pretty shade. It still smells so delicious, but I bought this in 2018. Also, I have the one in 70% Yum. I bought this and I was like, ooh, it smells like chocolate. That's great, except it's not really a shade that I would wear. Like. No, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is the shade Box of Chocolate. It still smells so delicious. It's also not a color that I would go to for. It's like gray. So I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. And then this one was Le Macarons. This was Mon Caramel. I don't remember when this came out. This only came out a little while ago. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep that shade. It does smell so yummy, you guys. This is the Infallible Paints Metallic. This is shade Galactic Foil. I don't know why I bought this. I don't really wear a lot of metallic shades anymore. It's really pretty though. I just, it's, I'm not gonna wear it. And then this one in Moonlust. I'd be closer to wear that shade than the purple one. I'll keep this one. <clears throat> These two from Revlon are absolutely my favorite. These Color Stay Sad inks, phenomenal. This shade right here in your go-to, this absolutely is one of my go-tos, even though it looks like it's tan in the bottle. When I put it on my lips, it actually takes on the shade of like pink. That is not the shade it looks like on my skin. If you're looking for one that's kind of like glossy, but still like a liquid lipstick, this is it. And then this one in Partner in Crime, also really good. So those two are phenomenal. Affordable at the drugstore, go check those out. The Hyper Matte from Revlon, this is, the shade is Death Valley. That's, that's okay, promising. I'm gonna get rid of that shade, it's kind of purple. Then I have NYX, the Powder Puff Lippy. This one is always just really interesting to me. I'm gonna keep it and try it out. It's an interesting color. This is the Shine Loud Rebel in Red. You guys, this, <laughs> you put this liquid lipstick on and then you put the gloss on top of it and it just, it stays. It's amazing. 
So I am gonna keep that one. I want it in other shades, but they literally kept running out of them. And then the NYX Lingerie XXL. These are amazing, you guys. This is Straps Off. It's a little bit darker than I usually wear, but I will keep that one. And Flaunt It. This one I absolutely love. It's just that nude shade I go towards. So beautiful. These two from Joa, the Infinite Kiss Satin Liquid Lipstick. This one's in the shade Snog. Oh, that's really pretty. I'm gonna keep that one. I do like Joa, they're K Beauty inspired. And then this one is in the shade Smooch. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that one too. This one from Contour Cosmetics. It is, this is the shade Juju. Oh yeah, that's really pretty. I'll keep that one too. These three are the Morphe X Jeffree Star collab. This one is his shade Mannequin from his liquid lipstick line. I'll keep that one, it's really pretty. This in Red Rum. This was actually the original shade that I purchased from Jeffree Star when they came out. It's just a beautiful red. And then Unicorn Blood. Mm, I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's more on the like burnt orange side. I'm not really gonna gravitate towards it. Um, I have a liquid cat suit from Wet n Wild. It's just a metallic burgundy. It's not a shade I'm gonna wear, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I have this one in Kiss of Death. It's already open, which is why I'll swatch it, but I probably am not gonna keep it, nope. And then this one in Petal Poison. It's purple. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. It's very similar to that shade, actually, but I know I've had this for a little bit. And these three from Maybelline, these are some of my favorites. These are the I can't remember what they're called. The Matte Ink Superstays. So this one was the collab with Puma. This is in Epic. And I actually really like this shade. So. It's just a really muted pink. This one in Lover. Mm. Pretty. And this one in Visionary. Probably won't keep the purple. No, I'm gonna get rid of that one. <laughs> okay, and the last round, you guys. We're, we're making headway, this is the end of it. Okay, so these ones from Juvia's Place. I have this one in Lover Girl. It's a really pretty red. Look how <laughs> big that wand is. All right. Yes, beautiful. So this is the liquid lipstick. I can't remember if these are liquid lipsticks or glosses. We're gonna try them, they were in the drawer, so. This is the bronzed chestnut. I wanna say this was a liquid lipstick. I'm not gonna keep it, it is so dark though. And then red velvet, which is a beautiful shade. I'm gonna keep that one as well. I have these three from Tarte. This is OG. And it's really pale and light and cool toned, so I'm gonna get rid of that one. This one is Birthday Suit. It's, that's a little more on the pinky side, so I'll keep that one. And this one doesn't really have a name, but I don't think I'm gonna keep it because of the shade. Yeah, it's purple. Then I have these two from Makeup Forever. This one is in the shade Bluff. Oh, I'm gonna keep that one. And then this one in Touch. Yep, so I've got the tan and the pinky shade. These two from Jaclyn. This one is Get Real. Oh, 
It's a little on the peachy side. I think I'm gonna get rid of that one. And then this one is Truth. See, this one's more on the pinky side, so. Yeah, we're gonna keep that one. I have this one from Smashbox. It's in the shade Man Eater. This metallic red, you guys. But it is very drying formula. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. These two from Glamlight. This was part of the cocktail collection. So I have this one in Rum, which is like legit my shade. So we'll try it right here. It's a little more peachy, but I'm gonna keep it for right now and try it out. And then this one in Pinot Noir. Yeah, I'm not keeping that one. This one from Rare Beauty, this is in Confident. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. I remember it was like moussey and nice to wear. From Il Maquillage, I have the Matte Danger. Well, that's a red. Yes. From Nude Sticks, I have Waikiki Rose. Um, oh, that's a pretty shade. I'm gonna keep that one. These two from Beauty Bakery. This one is Cranberry Stiletto. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna keep that one. And this one is Royalty, which it's metallic, so I don't know. Like, I need to stop buying metallic shades. I don't wear them but it is really pretty. I'm gonna keep it for now. This one from Sugar Coat. This one from Sugar Rush in Cupcake. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, from Jacqueline, I have the Lip Cushion in Promised. Oh yeah, keeping that one for sure. This is from Roman D in Persired. This is one of the K-Beauty brands that I got from YesStyle. I was really surprised by the red lip, so I'm gonna keep this one. And the last one, this is from About Face in Take Aim. You guys, this was a really pretty, like, purpley shade. We're just gonna put that one right there. Look at that. I'm gonna keep that one. Oh my goodness, you guys. I actually am so thankful that I got through all those lip products. I took a break, had dinner, but you guys, I got through all of them. And I have some numbers for you. So for lip pencils, I got rid of 31. Lip gloss, I got rid of 62. Lipsticks, 38. And liquid lipsticks, 56. And that's the thing is, I just decluttered... Mm, I declared almost nine months ago for my move and lip products and all that. So these are things, granted, last time I did this video, I didn't swatch everything. I just kind of went off of what the color in the tube looked like, and I was hoping that it would be something that I used. A lot of the products I haven't used, or when I did swatch them, I was just kind of like, mm, let's just be realistic. So I feel like I made good progress with my lip products. Now when you guys see my collection, <laughs> you might not agree because there's still a lot of them. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the bell for notifications new videos. If you like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. I really appreciate you. And until my next video, you guys, bye. I'll see you in the next one.